this. Whoa, that kind of was magic. And then this thing walks out. What? Oh no! That, that kind of was magic. Wow. If okay. you got nothing else out of this video, you learned that. That's right. <laughs> you remember how when we were done with the 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee Project Jasper, and then we did the brakes, tail lights that is, not brakes, tail lights, and then we had to cut out the front fenders. <laughs> And then we thought we were done there. Well, we we're not done yet because there was, remember that crazy loud noise from the front? You remember, you remember. Oh, it was terrible. Well, Dr. Torque here has been at work trying to find a solution to this. And we have ourselves a variety of components up here. So, which that is interesting and yet not needed. Not needed. No, So I thought it was. So as many noticed, including me, on the uh, axle that's in the Jeep now, this whole thing was kind of missing. Yeah. <laughs> Why was, was it missing? <laughs> from rust. And so one solution that I thought I was gonna do was uh, one of these things here that yeah. uh, will go over that and- Well, and explain why, because if you don't know about this, the other alternative is crazy. Oh yeah, well this is just a cap. But yeah, the other alternative from the same company is this entire part here, mm -hmm. this whole entire thing needs to be cut off of the axle housing or the axle tube and then correctly located and welded back into place. And that is a skill and patience that I don't have. And I guess in fairness, it's nice that it's there because you might need it if this whole thing was just destroyed, but it was only the top. So you. So I ordered some of these. I got a sweet deal from uh, Amazon return thing. Got them oh. for like half price. Nice. But then a couple days later, <laughs> a guy posted that his wife wanted him to get all this Jeep garbage out of her backyard. And one of the parts. Has that was, ever happened to you? <laughs> one of the parts was this axle, ha axle and, and a bunch of other parts. They're all laying over there that I have taken off already. But he thought it, they were from a. TJ, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, right. He wasn't sure. What he wasn't sure what they for. came out of, but they didn't have the right bolt pattern for the wheels he had. So it obviously wasn't the correct one for his Jeep. And, you know, so for him, it was just in the way. So I got a really good deal on it. And so it's not all rusted here. Mm -mm. And I got some rux, rust encapsulating paint and uh, I pressure washed the whole thing really well and then used some paint on it. And once I got it all cleaned up, I actually could see a number right here which is the bill of materials number from Dana, the manufacturer of the axle. And actually this is from a night, uh, 2000 Grand Cherokee. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it's one year newer than mine, but it's the actual correct axle for my Jeep. It's awesome. So I'm gonna have to start over with some stuff. I'm gonna have to, you know, get the, the ball joints replaced again, which is not that big of a deal. And I've already got new OEM bushings. Fantastic. That will go here mm -hmm. and here. Yep. And I believe we talked about this, but do you see that taper that stops right there? That is a stop for here. So that doesn't go in all the way. Can't, there was a couple comments and we really appreciate it because sometimes they're very, very good comments. And even if they're not, we like to have somebody say, hey, I don't think that's in all the way. In this case, and we're not above that maybe, Missing some in that case, in this case, we did have it correct. It does not go in all the way, like it does over here. And that's why it's confusing, because that one goes in all the way. Yeah, there's two different holes here. There's just a hole in a piece of metal here and a hole in a piece of metal here, and they're different diameter holes. And so, you know, the bigger, yeah, one this the hole big is bigger than this smaller. side. And so it goes through and it does seat all the way in, but this one does not seat all the way. It does not. It just bumps up against that, that uh, ridge and can't go any further. Cool. So this is the same uh, 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 axle ratio mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that uh, the Jeep already has. So I'm hoping to be able to reuse the ring and pinion, but this one does not have uh, the limited slip differential that that one has. So yeah. I did pick up. You, you don't want it. Well, that one doesn't have any, when they, when they work, they work great. And maybe that one works fine. I don't know, but it's, 22 years old, 23 years old, and no you can't get tell. any parts for it. No parts, and you can't really tell. And so I figured while I was going through this, I'd install a new differential carrier that does have a limited slip 
capabilities and I was going to show it off. And where did I put it in my super organized pile of crap out here? No, she didn't oh, paint this though. Keep no, that color. Oh, there's something else I'm going to show you on that here oh. in a second. So anyway, exciting. The inside the differential, I have gotten this Power Tracks Grip Pro. Whoa. And basically, it has five helical cut pinion thingy bobs in here. I'm getting super technical. You are. And uh, if one tire starts to slip and the other one is is you know held still, it'll actually cause those pinions to kind of bind up, wow. and then it connects Just the that? two sides. That's fantastic. It's not. I great. think that's really cool because I thought we were going to lose that capability altogether. Well, it's not great for off roading because if you have one tire up in the air, it can just spin. Still, it mm. has to have a. It has to be binding. Got it. In the center, uh, some people still use those and they tap the brake while they're giving it the gas and can sort of make it work, but. So for the driving around on for, the streets. For driving around the streets, it's really good. And that's what I'm gonna use it for. It's, this is mostly just gonna be like a winter rig for me. Yeah, excellent. So for that, it should work fine. Cool. So, and Comes, then. It came with some sand, I like that. Oh uh, yeah, it has all sorts of dirt in there that I'm gonna have to pressure wash out of there, but. You're pretty used to that on this rig though. So something else that whoa, I picked up. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Oh, you really are. No wonder you didn't paint it. Wow. That's really cool looking. And it's kind of tasteful. It's not massive. Feel amount. that thing. Holy <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> that's got some that's got some serious weight to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Why are you always biting stuff? It's the only way to tell if it's high quality, if it's, mm. if it's pure or not. <laughs> it's pure. <laughs> not gold. Wow, <laughs> look at how much thicker that is well the bolts go they're they're recessed so yeah it comes well it comes with new bolts too but oh, does it? it also has a drain and that's one oh of the, my one goodness. of the things i be, nice. i like is yeah rather than just a fill even though i have a lube blocker gasket that's reusable <laughs> that i plan on using it's still nice to just drain it and fill oh, it oh yeah okay meaning it's a gasket he could just take the whole thing off and use but why why when you could just Pop a drain, that's what I'm talking about. These were on sale. Pop a casket, pop a drain. <laughs> pop, a, pop a Smurf. Oh, stickers. Stickers. Yes. Wow. Dick's really into stickers today. We just had to find a place to stick them all. We need a wall what? of stickers. It comes with Ooh. bolts. Those are nice. We've already got this drained, but it's been sitting a little bit, and so it might have more to drain. It might have more to contribute, so we're lining up the pot. In the pan. Oops. Pot. That wasn't the order I meant to go in. No? Why did you want to change the order? I wanted to leave the top one on, so... Ah, so it hangs and drains. Yeah. Smart. I'm a legend in my own mind. Well, that's what's the most important part. Nothing. Good job. Well, I did leave it sit out for several days. Did you? draining so check out the inside of this baby it's all greasy yeah but it's really cool looking in there and look at all those gears down the center right there Ooh, look and there's like the matrix there's numbers on here somewhere we've already looked at them before and we we looked at the numbers and you have to do math but you divide one number by number it, it tells you how many uh teeth are on this gear and how many teeth are on the gear that's up in there mm -hmm. and when you divide one by the other it gives you the actual you ratio the actual ratio yeah now there's something before you take this apart. It's very important. Pay attention, boys and girls. Well, well right boys now I'm getting ready to take a picture because there's a cap here that holds a bearing on this side and a cap here that holds a bearing on this side. Mm -hmm. And you need to put them back on the same side that they came from and orient it the same way. You can't flip it upside down or go side to side or upside yeah. down or whatever. So you need to put this back together the way it was because that's how it's machined. Yeah, even though, I mean, because you got some markers pointing here so you can just flip that, but that is not correct. So just to make sure, you know, some people would take a punch out and they'd punch like one hole, you know, one dent here and one here and then two here and two here just so they have their own markings. Whoops. But, uh, but we got something better. I'm just going to take pictures. Well, because there's different amount, there's different writing. Yeah, on these, they, so the caps aren't identical. Yeah. So I'm going to take a picture for posterity. <laughs> Sticker! Um, a yes! One day we're going to have a wall of stickers like no other. I have stickers all over. I've, I never stick stickers on anything. I know, and they're such a waste, and they come. We have to find something to stick them on. But then once you stick them on something, you don't have them anymore. What if you stuck it on the wrong thing? 
They that's stay, a little, that's a little look so into how my brain works. They stay in the drawer forever. Yep. Oh, wow, look at that. That is very different looking. So Holy this is the moly. this is the new carrier with the, you can see like the ends of the pinions I was talking about. Yeah. And that you can see like little gear, geary thingies in there. They're in there, you just can't see them. So this yeah. goes in there like that. Boo, boo, boo. That's that's smaller too. That isn't it? It looks like a smaller. I hope not. Well, well, not the shaft, but just some of this. I hope not. No. <laughs> Is it not supposed to be? It's supposed to be. Well, this ring gear still needs to be tight around this lip right here. Oh, that probably will be. It's 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 probably correct on the inside. Just just the way it looks back like that. But I yeah, there's about the knuckle. Or there's that. bearings under here and here that press onto here, and then this goes in there like that. Well, <laughs> you have to swap the gear from here, that to here, and then this goes under there, and then there it gets more complicated than that. But that's the the short version of the story. I like it. So historically, what I would do in, pre in my previous life was I would take this cap off and I'd carefully put it over here mm -hmm. like that way. And then I take this one and I'd carefully put it over here like this. Smart. So I'd know which one was which, but we took a picture. So who and cares? Now we know even better. Yeah. Even better? It's even better. I'm trying to get a rag out from under you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm That's fine. Gonna... Just let you know. <laughs> and then, then I'm gonna try some magic, Jake. I can't wait magic. to see magic. magic. Where, did, where did that thing go? Shows so I guess magic. the trick is you're supposed to put the wrench here. And you're supposed to turn this. Whoa, that kind of was magic. And then this thing walks out. What? Oh no! That, that kind of was magic. Wow. If okay. you got nothing else out of this video, you learned that. That's right. <laughs> Look at the difference on that baby. So oh, it stinks so much. You stink. Oh, close to it. Yeah, they, they do smells. stink. I didn't think I was grabbing that much of. Oh, there is a shim. There's a shim right here. Look at all that junk. Oh my gosh. Nobody didn't clean your ears. That's why you got to clean your ears. So there's actually a seal right here. This is the axle seal. Boy, oh boy. So um, it kept, kept it out. Okay. So this whole part of the axle is dry. Yeah, it's just open. And this is the seal that keeps yeah. the gear oil yeah, in. Yeah, it's not as bad as it looks. It's just now we got to clean it, but that's a long job. there's a, another shim on this side. Okay, so what do we do? We're ta you may have, you've heard of the, the big boss, the head cheese. Head cheese, gross. Head cheese. <laughs> the giant nut. That's what we're taking off here, so. This is an interesting thing because we've got this breaker bar just in that plate. And you want me to hold this? Yeah. I bolted the plate on using <laughs> using bolts that are for holding uh, battery cables into a four-wheeler. Oh, is that what's going on here? I was like, what is that? Okay, okay. Because that's what I had laying around. <laughs> Smart. It's not bad. And so the plate I got on Amazon. For this. For this. Oh, wow. Or for any yoke okay i'm ready and you're holding it so it won't spin which way is it turning it's going to try to go that direction down yeah yeah so i got that wedged in okay all right so, action that's your job you're ah, hold on that didn't work that did not work at all i, I gotta get maybe i don't know what i gotta do but i gotta get some i gotta get some hearing protection that's stinking loud really yeah what we're gonna do this differently and this time it's gonna work Time I got that in, like no problem. Can you press that in? There we go. Okay. So what happened here? I'm gonna hold it up a little bit. I think maybe that'll help. Yeah. See? Totally. I think last time this just popped out and the whole thing spun. Yeah, I think it was, it was pulled it up. But I don't know. But out it goes. Good job. Anyway, I went to wiggle this to see if it was loose, and it was loose. Wow, look at that. Pretty gross, cool. huh? Yeah, but it's cool looking. So this 
is cut at this angle here so that when it is spins, it is able to turn that ring gear that the goes this direction, direction that then turns the axles. These kind of gears are just awesome. What do you what do you call these? I mean Well, this is a pinion gear. Pin just pinion gears? I mean it's I guess they would call it a heli hel helical cut or something. Helical like cut, that. that's what I that's what I was talking about. Something fancy. But then this is the crush sleeve. This goes in between the two bearings. There's a bearing on this side and there's a bearing on the other side that won't come out until we pull the yoke off and take out the seal. Yeah. But this goes in between the two and as you tighten this, this actually gets crushed a little bit that help, then that sets the pinion or the, the bearing backlash. And if this thing gets out of whack, it goes boo! Oh, is that what's making driving the noise? Down the road. Well, is that what's making the noise on the Raptor it's too? It's this probably making the noise. Or if this actually goes way out of whack and these are allowed to move a whole bunch, then this, how it engages with this, can make a lot of noise. Oh, yeah, I don't know what it is on the Raptor. So, because what case, did they change? They changed this on mine. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. The, the, they would have seal. The, well, the seal is. We'll look at the seal here in a second. So there's a bearing in there, and then that's the seal itself that needs okay. to, nice. to come off for the pinion. So I guess that's more or less what we're going to get done today. Cool. So what are we doing after this? What do you got to do next? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to eventually have to get that seal out of there. Um, I'm going to need to clean all this stuff up. I'm going to get the, this ring gear off of this carrier because I'm not going to reuse this carrier, but I'm going to reuse the ring and pinion, I hope. I'm going to inspect everything. I mean, everything looks really good so but, far. Yeah, from what we can see. But um, then I need to get bearings. <laughs> it's, it's a kind of a time-consuming, tedious process. You, you put bearings on that other carrier that we were looking at a few minutes ago, and then you... Like this thing right here, this part right here is actually a shim that goes between this bearing and the 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 big is that gear part the of the thing pinion. I always hear about that's a problem to line stuff up is that's a shim <clears throat> to get the gears all lined up and so it didn't howl. Uh, it's one of them. There's several in here that you have to get set up correctly. There's a shim here. There's actually over on this side here behind this race. There's a race right here for that bearing. This, well, this bearing right here rides into this race here. Mm -hmm. Behind this race, there are shims to push, shims. To, to push the ring gear, or the pinion gear further this wow. direction or not. So it can be moved this way with a shim there. There's a shim here that affects it somehow too. I can't remember exactly how. It's a lot of There's shims, shims over on the sides that it can actually move this thing this way and this way. My goodness. So yeah, you have to have everything. There's there's things from multiple directions that all have to line up with each other correctly to get rid of the sound and more importantly, work correctly <laughs> and hold together After all this, yeah. for a long period of time. <laughs> so I've never done one of these before. I'm going to give it a try. If it doesn't go well, I'm going to get my friend Richard involved because he knows everything. <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, hello there. It is yet another day, um, another week, and another, <laughs> another week. And Tom's been hard at work on the Jeep on the front axle. And that's why he's looking under here because look how awesome that is. Doesn't that look cool? That is a sweet looking, what do you call it, a pumpkin? Maybe? Sure. That's what I'll call it. So you did it. You got it done, man. I mean, look at all the shiny everything in here is shiny and new and the big question is did it get rid of that horrific growl and whine and terrible oh the, the, oh the high-pitched whine yes it did get rid of the pinion whine that we were hearing before so beautiful but so you did it but while i was doing this i converted it over to a different style of drive shaft so it's got a double carton or had a double carton drive shaft and so at certain speeds it was making noise so it is pulled at the moment mm. and I'm gonna have a shop you know do some measurements and see if it's a if it's a drive shaft angle issue or if it's a I got a crappy aftermarket drive shaft that isn't working correctly I hope well I don't know what I hope what do you hope 
I don't know. I, I go back and forth. I mean, I, yeah. I, I paid too much money for this drive shaft if it's bad. But then again, if that's all it takes, then I'm exactly. That's what I, I was thinking wouldn't too. Wouldn't mind getting a different drive shaft. That's the, the easier fix. Well, it sure looks good, man. I mean, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, replace the entire housing because those uh, those uh, spring perches were rusted away. So these are yeah. good. That's all new. And so Whoops. went through the whole thing. All new bearings and. Uh, it's got a different differential in there from Power Tracks. It's got yeah, a man. Power Tracks Grip Pro uh, carrier in it. So, so you you yeah that was, this was a big factor. I mean, it's one of those things where when you get into a project and you think it's one thing and it is, but then that one thing clears the way to find out it's another thing, <laughs> which it is, and then you clear the way to do that, and then you start figuring out what Jeep stands for. What's it stand for, there, Doctor Torch? Just empty every pocket. <laughs> do you own a Jeep and do you agree with that? I bet you do. You certainly heard it. But this thing is like a sweet rig now, man. So when you did that, you also got the front, uh, not the camber, the, what am I trying to say? Caster. Caster. You got that sorted out. Well, and that might be what's called. Were you just emptying your pocket? I was emptying my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> There's no money in there. Nothing. The uh, caster is, we got into spec by trimming the wheel, the, the bumper cover. Yeah, we had before. to do, uh, I did that. Look at that perfect <laughs> trim all the way down. Uh-huh, I like I, I like it too, I'm with you. But uh, but that might be what actually caused the uh, drive shaft vibration is by causing, it increases the pinion angle. Even further. Huh? Further yeah. by yeah. by when you do the, the caster according, because of how everything's related down. So, so. hopefully, no, nah, because that's that's then it's one or the other kind of a thing. Well, they might be able to take some of the caster away, Ooh. but have it be you know still good enough, and then the vibration goes away. And what's what's the lift we put on this baby? It's a Fat Bob's two and a half inch. Fat Bob's. Fat Bob's Garage, I guess. Yeah, uh, two and a half. It seems like it's lifted more than two and a half inches. It does. Well, your tires are taller too, though, right? The tires are taller too. Yeah. But well, so and if you want to go back and look at that video, you, you absolutely can. We definitely learned some things on the Fat Bob lift. Mostly it was maybe you would say shocks or struts. That yeah, time. I would say uh, don't get the cheap shocks that come with the kit. Get the upgraded shocks. Yeah. Because the... It was really sweaty. You drive around, it was like... Shoo, shoo, it was like shoo, shoo. a little bouncy and yeah. whatnot. And like you're on so the ocean. I ended up getting the Bilstein 5100s. Took, took that away, huh? Uh, I mean... They're Better. taller springs, so it still has a little bit of a sure. more of a lean than it some. did before or whatever, yeah. but it's not as bouncy. Nice. We're not done with this project though. We're just done with that phase of this particular one. You're, you're never done. <laughs> no, you're not ever done. Nope. That's not done. That's not done. If my wife's car was here, that's not done. And it's a pretty new CRV Honda, but you gotta lift that too. You do, you know. Well sweet, man. Well, that's it for this project. What's next before we go? What's next on this bit? Uh, I'm not sure. You yeah, caught me it. off guard. I, <laughs> I'm not 100% on that he one. He was just enjoying having this part done. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thanks for hanging out. This was a, a bit of a longer project, but uh, totally worth it. it. That front was a little bit of a challenge. Well, it's a pretty fun series on this one if you want to go back and watch it from when we got this thing and didn't know what was wrong with it and it ended up being the whole engine needed to be replaced. What we got, you got, Tom got a really sweet one on that one. Uh, it's a Jasper engine, so there's, it's a really cool series. So listen, have yourself a great rest of the day. On behalf of more Mrs. Uncle Jake, it's Dr. Tork. It's Jasper the Jeep. We'll see you on the next one. We'll take you out with the patent pending fist bump friendship. As Tom Moy says, when's that gonna come through? Patents take a long time, but it's pending. Whoop ow! Uh, diff, uh, axle ratio. Mm -hmm. Whether it works or not, I don't know. Make it work, Joel. Ah, the bird, etc. Purple. Another shim on this side. Shim, 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 shim. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> I can't stop singing that song whenever there's shims involved. It's not possible. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that one too. Okay. Yeah. The Jeep wants to do it. Whoop ow. Jeep's always like headbutts. Jeep's like whoop ows. <laughs> yeah. Jeep's like, well, this one apparently does. Yeah, it.
It Bam! Yeah, that was a really good one right there. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna Bam. fix that. 